Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the Binding of Isaac new save file. We are going to jump in and we are going to go as someone that we haven't played as in a little while. Let's go Tainted Job. Tainted Job is always a fun one. He's a bit wacky, a bit weird. I love the, uh, the, the, the sort of play style of switching up what you have all the time. You get double the items but things get taken away from you. So it switches up your play style quite a bit. Um, and on that vein of things being taken away from you, what's something you lost recently? What's something you lost? And I don't mean like a pet or a person. That's sad. <laughs> I mean like items. <laughs> What's something that like you just misplaced recently and it's really fucking annoying that <laughs> you can't find it? Because that happens all the time, doesn't it? Where you just you just misplace something and it's like the most frustrating thing ever. Especially if it's money. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while, but it's always nice though when like, ooh, ooh, both of these are very good. Definitely gonna lock that in. I very highly doubt I can get a, um, another charge in time, so, but I, I'm gambling just in case I can. But 2020 is locked in. 2020 is locked in. Oh, hello. Kind of a... Okay, so this guy has had some visual improvements. This guy looks way cooler than he used to. Like, way, way cooler. I'm pretty sure his head never used to get popped out, but now it does. That's, that's very interesting. I like that. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, his head gets popped out now as well. It's really cool. But god damn, this is a really horrible room layout because I can't just shoot in the middle. Dude, can you stop shitting out kids? This is no daycare, baby. This is this is the binding of Isaac. You ought to be dead. Okay, we got him in the end. We got him in the end. Yeah, I very highly doubt there's there's any way in which I'm gonna be able to get um a charge, but I am going to play the numbers and try my best. Because you don't know. There might be a battery lurking around somewhere that I can take a little peek at. There is there is a battery in here, but that still wouldn't be enough, I don't think. But I'm, I'm playing the numbers. I'm playing the game just to, just to see. 2020 is enough for me for now, but... I don't think there's anything I can get that would help me in the boss room. I guess I could get the hairpin trinket and then walk into the boss room and get a full charge. That's one way this could work. Very unlikely. Because this room would have to drop a trinket. And then it'd have to be the hairpin, which it, ha it wasn't. So, yeah, pretty, pretty unlikely that was going to happen, let's be honest. But let a man dream. Let a man dream. Let's take this. Good old poison fire shot. This is the one that explodes, I never remember. Still though, this is a good setup and getting 2020 locked in early on. Pretty fun. Good item to have on the roster forever. Remember when it didn't used to be a damage down? Those were the days. Those were the days. And then synth oil. And a luck upgrade. Okay, good stuff. To the next floor. Good bit of gerbin. Good bit of German. But yeah, like, when you, when you lose money, what we're going to lose? Oh, you bastard of a game. I knew it was going to take it from me. Um, When you, like, lose money, it's always, like, really annoying. But it's always the most satisfying thing when, like, two years later, you put on a coat you haven't worn forever. And there's, like, £20 note in the pocket. It's like, oh, my God, yes. <laughs> you, you just feel so good about it. Even though, at some point, you were probably frustrated that you lost that money. It's still so, like, satisfying to, like, just randomly put on clothes and find money. I can't remember the last time that happened to me, actually, but yeah, like I said, it is, it is really satisfying when it does. Ah, oh, don't respawn. It's a bit annoying. Can't believe I lost the ch goddamn chili already. Deadweight is annoying. I'll take it just... I'll just take it because it'll get deleted at some point, but I really don't like it as an item. I think it's very, very annoying. It's just the fact that it's automatically... If it spawned randomly in the room and then you picked it up, it'd be fine. But the fact that it spawns, like, in your hands makes it slightly more annoying. We can get some use out of it here and there. And apparently you can't throw it over gaps either, which is just dandy. Just dandy. But yeah, I didn't, didn't want to lock in either thing that we got from our item room there. The impact wax is kind of like... It's nice, but... I don't really think it's the sort of item we need to keep around. Good. And of course, I, I really don't want to keep dead weight around. Dead weight, I'm hoping, is the first thing to go next floor. But you know it won't be. You know it'll be Synthoil that'll go next. 
Even though Synth Oil is my baby, my darling. Can't even throw you over the gaps there either. Ah, you bastard. Let's be careful because my health is not great at the moment. Boss time it is. Wow, that did a lot of damage to him actually. I respect you more for that. And Jesus Juice. Don't think either of those are worth locking in either. We'll go for the Angel deal here just because I'm feeling like Devil deal on this much health isn't the best. Come on, take away dead weight. Took away Jesus Juice in our soap box. Um, why is there four items in here? Tech point five is the one I want to lock in. And then I want to say Wicked Soul as well. Take point five is good shit. Don't like this. Oh, fuck you. Swindle, swindler, I'd like you, thank you. And then I guess I'll hold on to this. Swindler's potentially pretty good, though. He can do some wild stuff. He can give you quite a few items. Not a bad crawl space, I wouldn't say. Okay, didn't expect that. Gotta be mighty careful now, though, because my health is not good at all. I'm in a bad spot health-wise. Didn't mean to buy that key, but I kind of needed it, so thank you. You should eat my golden penny. I'm gonna let you just go ham on this. Okay, it was only a tiny golden penny. It doesn't matter. Didn't last long. But he can spawn items for days and discounted things like health and stuff, as you just saw there. But sometimes he can sell you a one cent item. It's, it's not super common, but it is pretty beautiful when he does it. And it makes me makes me want to keep him around forever. Now, I don't know if our Dares Custodia items are just protect, protected from the hand or if they're unrerollable. I'd imagine they're just protected from the hand. It would be pretty cool if I, if I could re-roll and not lose my uh, 2020 with my D100 here. That would be lovely. Right, where the hell am I going here? Because I've clearly missed a door somewhere. Must be down here, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. We are absolutely blitzing through the rooms right now. We have quite a bit of damage going for us. There he goes, look. Having a whale of a time. The more money he picks up, the better, I think. He can pick up keys as well. He can only pick up keys and chests and stuff that are over gaps that I can't reach. But yeah, he can do some cool stuff. The more money he picks up, the more chance he has of spawning things, I think. Oh, God. I didn't realize there was a mushroom there because of the darkness. It's a little bit foolish of me. I'm sure we'll see him uh, spawning something else soon. Oh, dude, this is a... Slightly rough room with him. There you go. He wants to spawn something for us. And there it is. A one cent item. I knew it was coming. We've been to item room this this one. I didn't use Deus Custodia here. Angel deal we might want to. Feet is in a jar. Always intrigued by that. Let's take the damage up there as well. And unfortunately a pretty, pretty rough deal when it comes to uh, our items here. Pretty rough deal. Not very happy with either of those, but I will take that because I'd rather not accidentally re-roll myself. Okay. Let's go. Not the best. Dude, I can't go down things or pick things up while I'm holding the dead weight. It's very annoying. He is very much a dead weight. Okay, it took it took dead weight finally. Oh no. Oh no no. Um So it took dead weight the item. But now I have a dead weight in my hand that I can't get rid of, so that's that's certainly not what I want. And I'm, I'm using my beeswax here to to kill. Okay, that better be gone when I leave this room. It's not okay. Um, I am unsure what to do. We have bricks this run. Right, 
Tech. Tech. Whatever it's called. Tech point five. You are our saving grace now. We play this entire run with you chilling. Deadweight, why are you the worst item to ever exist? Who who invented you? Whose decision was it to bring you into existence? Because it was a poor one. Ow. This might this might be a run not long for this world. Oh wait, 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 no, no, no. We're fine. Okay, no, we're not. Oh man. I thought we were we started shooting, then when we get hit, we can shoot again. But then it just puts it straight back on our head. Unfortunately, there isn't much ways out of this. At least we've got some way of shooting. This just shows the true power of Tech Point 5 right here. It's just a shame it doesn't get affected by our 2020. That'd be great. Right. Keep plowing forward. Oh my god. Not with the little invincibility flies, please. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what we could get to help fix this. What other items are, are going to allow us to shoot through this? Tech 2 would be good. I can't pick up items. Oh my god. Can I bomb myself to... Okay. I can pick up items, but I have to hurt myself to do it. <laughs> Great. Book of Lucifer's good stuff. Again, though, I can't god damn pick it up. I've seen if I can, like, finesse it to be like, Meh. nah. Just want the book. <laughs> We've really created something very strange here, haven't we? <laughs> Wasn't what I was expecting at all. That's very good. Hello, hello. More damage, please. Thank you. So damage will affect our uh, thingy here, won't it? Get some slowing creep going. Hit with my, my wax. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, please. Oh, I got hit, didn't I? Okay, nice. Okay. <laughs> the most bizarre run ever. No, my swindler buddy. Not my little swindly pal. He was doing so much for us. He was such a helpful little helper. Oh my god. No! I need to, I need to more consistently be able to shoot. Oh my god. Mini boss time. Not the mini boss I was hoping for. Yay, we got hit there. Huzzah, we can shoot. <laughs> oh man, this, this is the most balked run ever. Deadweight, how could you do this to me? I try so hard. I think I want to be using my wax rather than my uh, uh, tech zero, uh, tech point five. You know, I don't know which is better. I really don't. Oh, really? You're not going to give me any uh, soul heart HP? That's a real kick in the nuts. Okay, this is coming to a swift end, people. I apologize for the transgressions I have put upon this world in this run. But this is going to be a rather short episode, I think you'll find. Oh, man. I just want to pick up some items, man. Okay, let me go back and pick up that half-red heart. That could be that could be the difference between life and death. Please say I can pick up hearts. Okay, I can. <laughs> that was, like, for, for a hot minute there, I'm like, can I actually pick up HP? Okay. Is this an Excel floor? This floor's massive. Ow. I, 
I can't buy anything? Why? This is evil, game. This is evil. Don't even know what my health is right now. Oh, dude. Get out of here with your ghostly shenanigans. I just want to live like a normal boy. Never would I thought that this run would 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 d descend into this. This is not what I planned for at all. And I'm having to play stupid games, not to deal damage, in order to grab items. I have to hurt myself. It's just, it's not how it's meant to be. I don't even know how much health I have left. I could be one hit off death here. I don't see my item room yet. Is there anything I can do to like circumvent this? I, I, I'm not even sure if bombing myself will kill me. Luckily I don't, I don't have to this time right because I got hit. Getting hit is the best thing that could possibly happen to us. Beautiful. Oh, what the hell? Hello. Who are you? I'm, I'm fairly sure my health is quite low. What are, what are you doing, little fella? What are you doing? Okay, sides? No thanks. This is not a scythe party I want to be part of. Oh, there's a, a saw blade that you're throwing at people. No, 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 thank you. We're able to fire again. Let's take advantage while we can. Get out of here, little doggies. Ghost dogs. Oh, man. That item would be so goddamn good, but I'm actually fairly sure that if I bomb myself, I die. So I'm going to have to go and find HP elsewhere before I do this. I think I'd die if I touched that. I'm not sure what my health is right now, but I just don't think it's good. It's not good. It's pretty bad. Well, that was a really, 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 really weird and bad episode. But we did get to see some interesting stuff. It's one of the shortest ones I've ever done. Uh, but I feel like just to just to put a pin in that awfulness, we're gonna we're gonna leave that as it is and have it as its own short story. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I really wanted to take that other item because it would have been great, but to, the only way to take it is to hurt myself and I didn't have enough HP to do that. And unfortunately, of course, the first room we go into has to have someone with herming. Like, really? <laughs> and then the blue block as well, it kind of just scared me. But I, I'm, I'm interested with this Dr. Fetus thing. I've not seen that before and I didn't realize the second evolution of Dr. Fetus was going to be, um an item straight away like uh, is it not an item a familiar like i didn't realize he'd get up and walk around and start firing saw blades i'm guessing he's same with meat boy where he can go up to level four but i haven't actually seen him before but yeah that's uh that's gonna be a fat l on on this one here so let me know if you want to see more of the modded characters i mean i do want to play more of the modded characters i think i want to play some more of the tainted mammon variety and uh, i don't know my stem is always fun as well but yeah i do want to do another run as this guy and not eat dirt quite so heavily, because that was that was pretty bad. <laughs> that was that was pretty unfortunate. But we are gonna we are gonna end off the episode here. And to be fair, actually, let me just I'm not gonna do a challenge this run, but I should take a look through my challenges and see where we're at with them. Because we've done quite a few of them, but there's still a few to go. We got Pong. We got Bloody Mary, Bats by Fire, Seeing Double, Hop to We've okay, we We've got some of the harder ones, but Cantrip is fun. What's this locked one that we have? How do we solve a challenge that's locked? Is that, that, is that our only locked challenge? I think it is, isn't it? But I'm surprised by that. Anyways, I think we'll leave it off there um, and come back to those another time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.